Okay, let's learn how to select at the geometry level in Houdini. So here we are back at the object level, where again, if we were to select uh, this piece of geometry, uh, we could uh, show smooth wire shaded if we wanted. We could have it display the points on the surface. Uh, but if we wanted to select those points, um, we can't because we're at the object level. What we need to do is we need to be one level down. So we've already talked about that before. So we're going to go into here and we're going to pick uh, points or press 2. The hotkey would be 2. And now I dive down and i am you can see in the network editor I'm at the geometry level and now I can select points uh, based on that selection. Uh, I can also go in and pick edges. So there's an option here for, for doing an edge. Double click to get a loop. Maybe go down here, double click to get a loop. So there's a whole bunch of options here, um, primitives or faces, I can get those as well, and all that can be done at this level. So I select here, and if I press the A key, I can left click here uh, and get that little band across there. So I've got that very quick way of selecting a bunch of polygons at the same time. Now, <clears throat> right now, uh, if we select like this and we turn that little one option on with the eye uh, we can't see anything at the behind but if we turn it off again we can see both front and back so you have an option to either ignore the back or include the back when you make a selection there's also an option for groups so if geometry has groups like this one has for the eyes and for the teeth and so on those groups can be preserved and help you in your selection process so that options there worth exploring Now let's go to uh, a sort of the paintbrush option. So this will allow me to just sort of brush a selection there. And then if I want to add to that selection, I press shift and I can add to that selection. And then if I want to remove, then I press control and remove from the selection. So that's similar to the object level, but, uh, but it's worth noting shift to select, uh, to add to the selection again. Now if we zoom into here, um, what we can do is let's go down to this area here and uh, we're going to let's go back to box selection so we're going to select a polygon and double or press N or double click double click or press N we'll get everything now if we go to the edge selection it will remember that last edge selection we made if we go to point selection uh, it'll go back to our face selection will go to N so if we select there we can go A and if we middle click uh, we'll get the loop. So A, middle click, and then, or no, single left click will mean we just get the band. Middle click would have been a loop. Now we shift key to add to there, uh, shift to add there. So we go shift A, middle click, and then we get the loop again. So a bunch of combinations there to make different kinds of selections at this level. Now the, the next thing we want to do is we want to convert the selection to a point selection. So it's important to understand that um, if you want to go from one to the other, you have to convert it. Because if you just go to point selection, it will remember this point selection you had before. So you need to convert it with the right mouse button uh, if you want your one selection to become the other kind of selection. Uh, now we can also select, let's say, a single point here. That will put down an edit SOP. And if we pull that up, uh, we can um, just put some soft radius in there to, to, to react to that. But one of the reasons we want to talk about the edit SOP is that it actually has a whole selection um, tool of its own that's a little different than the select tool, which is you have this option here called sort of sloppy selection. And it allows you to very quickly go from a, an edge to a polygon to a point uh, as you're working. So this is designed to be really quick for those people who are making edits using the edit node uh, within Houdini. So I can quickly select a bunch of points, press A, select a bunch of faces, uh, find a point, press A, select a bunch of points. So all of that can happen if you have that sort of sloppy selection on and you can be doing a bunch of different selection types at the same time. And there you go. Now you've got a little intro to selecting geometry in Houdini.